Hello, Mark Savage here. Welcome to my shed. It's not what I'm doing today that I'm talking to you about. So I'm putting little covers on because they're missing. Why are they missing? This is the Kawasaki Versus or the KLE 650. Why am I putting these on? Well, you notice they're missing. This little bike here has been down both sides. Minimal. And I'm not going to show you a video of it because this is what I want to talk to you about. As in the title, should you ever mix and match tyres? Now I had a, a YouTuber that I often talk to recently message me and say that a garage refused to mix his tyres for him. So it's got to be the same. And I answered back, well, you know, I can understand why. Um, my verdict, really honest with you, I don't. This bike has got Michelin on the front. Three mil. And a Bridgestone on the back. Fairly new. Nice big chicken lines. Anyway, it's a Versus. My personal view, no. I don't like mixing tyres. I like to stick to the same sort of tyres. You watch my recent video of me trying to get the damn things on. I go to a garage now. Um, and I recently bought a Phaser, which is on here as well. And that had a really quite a crap front tyre. Really bad wear. I've not seen where I thought that's actually probably something with a ride, but you can see it's really wore down this side and not so much that side. And these are the two Triumph ones I took off the other day. So I replaced them with the same brand actually, but this has gone square and that was quite low, but nowhere near as low as that. So in my brain, okay, and please do put your comments down here with your ideas because I don't know if I'm right or wrong. But tyre manufacturers, I mean, they're not just all rubber nowadays. You get dual, triple compound, harder wearing and so on. And in my little brain, a front tyre being made from a different manufacturer from front and back would mean you could possibly get different grips. Yeah? So the front tyre would grip, I don't know, let's just percentages here, a 40% grip at an angle of whatever degrees. And the back tyre would grip more or less, would mean the whole bike would become unstable. Hence this one has a Michelin, and on the rear a Bridgestone possibly means that when you're banking there's front rear more less grip you know and it's come off both sides on this bike very very tiny spills um i said i'm not going to do a video on this Kaylee or the versus i've got loads of videos on this i'll leave them at the end as well and my tie one just if you haven't seen that one that was uh hell anyway so what's your thoughts please guys would you mix and match tires am i correct in saying that just possibly mixing and matching would cause this problem where a front tyre would slip with a back one wouldn't and that would then flip you. I mean, you know, is that correct or... I don't know. Put your thoughts at the end of this, make your comments and let me know and I'll decide. Me, I was actually going to buy another Bridgestone for the front. I mean, the back tyre is practically new. The front tyre's still got three mil in it, but I was going to buy another Bridgestone. And I'm not saying what tyres brands you should have. I know Pirelli... Bridgestone, Michelin, and, and you know all the other ones you can buy. I'm just saying, should you mix tyres? That's all I'm asking. Like, share, subscribe. You take care of those on the road. I'll keep making them. A couple of more videos coming up soon. Take care.